I'm going to sleep on it and hopefully I'm going to wake up tomorrow and have an aha moment and report back to you all that the mystery has been solved. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to tell you how I did not use a product that I tell you guys to use and I undersold it. Yep. So, uh, this right here, this item, I purchased this at a, it was like a garage sale slash estate. Um, clean out they were it was just a family owned thing and I bought a ton of crafters items and this little Pez dispenser was in the lot and I was like oh no feet looks vintage I'll just throw that in my pile didn't think too much of it so um I didn't look it up on worth point here's what I did do I looked it up on eBay and there was one currently listed for $175 here are the solds, and this one here is mine, and this is the only other one that was uh, listed when I put in the keywords. So, I'm like, I'm just going to do an auction, and I'm going to start my auction at $49.99, and if it's worth $175, it's going to get a bunch of bids, right? Well, you can see here, it only got three bids and went up to $52. What should I have done? I should have went to Worth Point and I sh should have searched. First off, I searched Pez Dispenser Elephant Teal. And you can see right here is one that sold for $234.37. I also searched Pez Dispenser, let's see, um, Orange Elephant. And these two popped up. So, you know, it depends on what the person listing the item puts as keywords in their title. So. I found this one that sold for $182.50 and this one that sold for $172.50. So I kind of undersold it. Now, I will say that when I was listing the item, it kind of popped out. And um, I'm not 100% sure. See how the spring is? Is that how it's supposed to look? What I should have done is went and bought a cheapy Pez dispenser, put the Pez in there and see if it worked. So what I put in the uh, condition here, not sure if it works, please see all photos sold as seen. So I was kind of taking the lazy road and I didn't test it. So um, I wasn't sure if it was broken or not. My mistakes in this, and I'm going to show you the worth point uh, price guide when we're done here. But first mistake was I didn't check worth point. I saw that there was a high sold on eBay, but there was only one that should have been a good indicator that I need to go to worth point and I need to look this item up. So messed up there. Uh, mess up number two is I was lazy. I should have just, next time I was at the grocery store, I should have grabbed a cheap Pez or even ordered one online and tested this thing. Because if it was in working order, I probably could have sold it for close to $200. Ah! So I really messed this one up, guys. Let's talk about Worth Point. Um, I've told you guys before that I really love Worth Point, but I didn't, I didn't do a good job this time. So how much is Worth Point? I put off getting Worth Point for a long time because I thought it was kind of pricey, and I still think it's kind of pricey. But in this case, I sold my item for fifty-two dollars instead of close to two hundred. So it would have definitely paid for itself in this situation. Uh, there is a free uh, seven days, seven lookups. So it's either seven days or seven lookups. I will tell you that seven lookups is not much, but it will give you an idea of how to use the site. Uh, let's see. If you want uh, the price guide premium, that's the one I have. That's access to price guide, buy and sell with confidence, store unlimited items in the vault. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, get unlimited worth score insights for all of your vault items. I don't know what those features are. I've never used them. I basically use it to search comps. 
I do pay for the $249.99 a year. When I signed up, it was $199.99 a year. I don't know if I'm grandfathered into that or not, but you will save over 20% by paying for the year. If not, you can pay $26.99 a month. So if you just want to try it and see if you really use it, do the monthly. Um, but if you're sure you're going to use it, do the yearly because you're going to save money. Now, marks and library. I have not used this. If you just want this, just the marks and library, I don't think you can search solds with that. This is just to identify and authenticate using our comprehensive visual database. Research and discover through our digital library. Store unlimited items in the vault. Again, I don't know what the vault is. That is $256.99 for the year or $25.99 a month. So I'm guessing this is like for, you know, when you flip a piece of pottery over and it's got a symbol on it or a logo or a brand. I'm guessing this is going to help you with that. Possibly jewelry. If anybody knows for sure, please let me know in the comments because, again, I've never used this, um, this feature. Now, if you want access to both of these, you can pay $42.99 a month or $439.99 a year. And these, it looks like you save over 15% by doing the whole year. It says access to price guide, access to MAPS, maps gallery, and access to library. So you have to figure out what is worth it to you. Do I think worth point is worth it? Absolutely. Worth point is definitely worth it. Did I mess up this time? I most certainly did. So um, I just wanted to share this experience with you guys to let you know to use those tools you have. If you have WorthPoint, make sure you're using it. <laughs> don't be like me. And if you don't have WorthPoint, this is a good example of why you should have WorthPoint. But um, again, no pressure to, to join. It's definitely a, a pricey thing. It is a business expense that you have to decide, is it worth it? For me, it's worth it. Uh, if you would like to check out WorthPoint, there is a link down in the description of the video that will take you directly to their website and you can check out that price guide. Okay, so I started this video and I knew that the item was not in the bin or the tote that I had logged it as, but I felt pretty confident I was going to be able to find this item. So let's just add to my list of mistakes. Um, I have looked for this thing for over an hour. Um, I'm going to show you how I typically find my items that are not where they say they are. I can usually figure it out and I'm going to show you how I do that. Unfortunately, it did not work this time. So I'm not sure I was listing in my laundry room and I'm like, okay, let's look in the laundry room. So I searched it. I looked like under the washing machine and moved the dryer around in case it like slid off. Not there. Um, I was working on a bag of stuff that I purchased from auctions for you. So I dumped that out and searched through there because I did the video and then I threw everything back in the bag. So I'm like, maybe I just grabbed it. And I'm like, come on, be there. No. Um, I was also working on a Goodwill bins haul and I'm like, maybe I threw it in there. So I dumped that bag out. Nope, not there. So <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm feel defeated. I'm really upset. Um, I don't lose a lot of items. I can, like I said, usually find them. So let me show you my method of um, how I look for it. And then I'll let you know what I plan to do next. Um, I have emailed the buyer and just kind of going through the motions of what's next. So we'll talk about that after I show you how to find an item or a good way to inventory your stuff so that if this happens to you, you can find the item. And I'll also also show you uh, my system for inventory, which it failed me this time. So, um, okay. So I, first off, here is the Pez dispenser. And if you look right here, I go in and I look at the start time. I started this auction on September 1st, 2022. So if um, I go into my custom SKU here, these are my active listings. I can see what tote everything is in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the start date and I am going to look for September 1st. So I'm going to scroll, scroll all the way down until I get to September 1st. Now, my notes say that this should be in tote 11, okay? 
Um, let's get down here to September 1st. Scrolling. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we're at the 4th. Okay, so I listed plush that day. So those are in plush tote 11. And I did check that tote as well just to make sure maybe I didn't just like accidentally drop it in there when I was putting the plush in there. It was not there. I mean, I have looked everywhere. So August 30th, I was still in tote 11. Um, I know it's not in tote 11. I've looked, I, I think three or four times now. So what I did is I continued to go back to the two totes that I put things in before that. And that was tote 35. So before that was 35 and there's a whole bunch of stuff. And then I went to the tote after, which was tote eight. And it is not in either of those totes. And I'm not kidding you. I, I checked them three or four times, just thinking like I'm overlooking it. It's got to be here. I just don't understand where it could have gone. So that is how I find it. I put in my custom skew, which tote the item is in when I list it. But I remember I listed the Pez dispenser kind of with some other items. And I, probably just sat it to the side and then didn't put it where I said I was going to put it. Completely my fault. Um, but again, September 1st shows me that it should be in tote 11. And that is what my notes say in the custom SKU, which you can't see right here. Um, so what did I do? I uh, reached out to the buyer and right now, current time, I'm going to sleep on it. I'm not canceling the order yet. I want to find the item. Number one, she wants the item for her collection. Number two, I don't want a defect on my account. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I undersold it. But did I? Um, when I reached out to her, I told her, I said, I think the item's broken, but I'm not 100% sure there's this little metal piece, as you can see in the photo. And I disclosed this in the listing. but. Um, I said, I'm, I'm not sure if it's broken. If you did not see that and you don't want the item, I would be happy to stop looking for it. And she said, it is broken. So that does devalue the item. Um, so probably the price point that I got for it was accurate. Um, now, could my husband have fixed it? Maybe. Should I have still bought Pez and tested it? Probably. But um, I feel a little better that it was broken. But I feel awful that I can't find the item. So I told her I'm going to, so she said, yes, it is broken. She knew that she wants it for her collection. If I could keep looking for it, great. If not, she understands. So I'm going to sleep on it. I, I feel like I have just exhausted every avenue. I don't know where else to look. If anybody has any ideas in the comments, let me know. I have a friend um, that sells on eBay and she's a huge, has a huge store. And I messaged her and she's like, check here, check here, check here. And I messaged my friend, uh, Carissa, chosen goods reseller. I actually called her. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. I can't find this item. Um, because like I said, my method usually works. I can usually find the item um, with that, with that little trick I showed you, inventory trick. But um, it's, it's just gone. I don't know. I don't know where it is. So I messaged the buyer back and I said, okay, I'm going to sleep on it. Think about tomorrow uh, where like maybe some other places I could look, but I really don't know where else to look. I mean, it's not going to be in a random tote that I haven't touched for, you know, six months other than to pull inventory out of it. So there's no sense in really checking those. Um, I don't know. I hope it didn't like get swished away with my donation pile or something like that. I don't know. But I told her that if I do have to cancel, I will be sure to reach out to her first if I find the item. And what I'll do is I'll go to my messages. I will tell her that I found the item. So I wanted to come on here. I wanted to be transparent about the situation. I had already recorded the part about not doing my research right on WorthPoint and talking about the different scenarios of how I could have done better with this. But then this happened and I'm like, you know what? It's a another teaching moment. So. Here I am. I messed up. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And again, if you can think of any place that I should look that maybe I haven't looked. All right, you guys, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a join and another video down below. This is not typical. This is not something that happens very often. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And let me know if this has ever happened to you. Thanks for watching.